Welcome to Living Large Television with Mark Henry, CEO of Alloy Wealth. For over 15 years, Alloy Wealth has focused on your financial needs and values when it comes to retirement planning and investment management. Mark and his team are committed to helping pre-retirees and retirees navigate complicated future planning decisions in order to meet and exceed your goals. This is Living Large Television. Welcome to Living Large Television. I'm Rebecca Powers. So happy to be here, of course, with Mark Henry, the man of the hour with Alloy Wealth Management. Let's look back to plan any bright future. You have to look at your history. So let's just start the show today, Mark, by talking about 2022. No. <laughs> <laughs> let's How's forget that? it. Let's, well, I think many people would like to. Yeah, including um, me. <laughs> But, you know, it was a, uh, the tail of the tape is, is pretty striking. I actually don't try not to do scripted shows. I wanted this to be live television so yes. we can really take the show wherever it goes. Yes. But in this case, I think it was important to have a fact sheet just so I had the actual written fact sheet of exactly what happened. But let's talk about some records that 2022 broke. Okay. But not in a good way. Not in a good way. Um, for only the third time, since 1926. Now, let me be very clear about that. Wow. You realize, realize that's almost 100 years? That's frightening to even think of that. I think a century. Yeah. For only the third time since 1926, the only other two occurrences was 1931 and 1969. This is the only the third time this has ever happened where equities, stocks, uh -huh. and bonds went down both had a drastic losing year when you think about this it's pretty crazy the s and p one of the indexes many people who understand it, the standard and poor's the s p 500 fell by almost 20 percent mm. but right the total return you know it fell this ranks as the fifth percentage of annual return since 1962 of down mm. and this thing was it crushed it was terrible yeah but guess what u.s treasury notes fell 16%. United States Treasuries fell 16%. Um, that's the worst on record. Really? Ever? So so this is the problem. This is what people just have. They just don't know what to even do because yeah. many people found themselves in what I affectionately call that boomer portfolio, you know, the 60-40. They were supposed to be safe. When I went to college and they taught me finance and, and I understood Wall Street, learning about Wall Street, so intrigued. But they said it kind of worked like a teeter-totter. Right. You had equities, that's stocks, on this side. Okay. And you had bonds and alternatives on this side. So the idea was when equities went down, what stocks happened to bonds? Stocks go up. Or, equities, or, or, stocks went down. And vice versa. Right. What happened to bonds? They're no. supposed to go which way? Equities go down. Stocks, they go down. What happens to bonds? Up. They go up. Bonds or equities go up. What happens to the bond market? Goes down. This is how it's always worked until it didn't. In 2022, it That's stopped. Correct. So Why? people found themselves in a 60, because the world's different. Yeah. This idea that you can manage your money the way your grandfather did, it's not your grandfather's retirement. There used to be a car company, Oldsmobile, and they said, this isn't your grandfather's Oldsmobile. Right. You know? <laughs> well, they're gone. <laughs> yeah. I remember, you know, my grandfather, I learned so much about money from him, but, but his ideas and principles on money were based on growing up in the deep south. Yeah through and living through the depression. depression. Think about that. So the way he looked at things, I have this beautiful table. If you come to our, our conference room there, and uh, we have several, five conference rooms there in the Charlotte office, but I have some of this most custom crafted live edge furniture you've ever seen. Beautiful. And I love it. I love this stuff. So one of the tables is at least four inches thick. It's a long 12 foot piece of wood. It was such a big, beautiful tree. And I just love this table. My grandfather, I could see him today, he would have been, you know, he, he was such a big man, but he would have hit that table with his hands, boom, <laughs> boy, that table, he always called it boy, I wasn't marked to him, I was boy, <laughs> I was known as boy, boy, that table right there, that's solid as Sears. <laughs> Solid as Sears? Solid as Sears. Which is now out of business. Right, and Sears and Roebuck that. was the original Amazon, but that's anyway. correct. Well, th think <laughs> about that, though, because he grew up in a time. Yeah where he couldn't have ever believed Sears and Roebuck. Amen. Wouldn't have been there. They go out of business. But, but now you look at someone like my son. Right. 
and he sees Amazon, and I actually like it too. And, and you know, they say there's like an Amazon Prime Day. I don't know how it works in your area, <laughs> but in Locust, North Carolina, it's every day because something comes every day. So it's obviously <laughs> Amazon Prime Day. Your wife is a VIP. Household. She's right. a VIP it's, with Amazon. It's obviously <laughs> Amazon Prime Day every day. But my son can't visualize a world where Amazon isn't Amazon. Right. But that's not the truth, is it? And you said it's different from the way your grandparents say. Well, think about but it. It's my even different from your parents. Sears, my son thinks Amazon. Yeah. But think about this. A few years ago, I remember talking to a client, and they were heavy in a company called Netflix. Yeah. They just saw oh, the stock is going to be this. Oh, they were just so heavy. They had all these stocks, and they were just heavy in one kind of stock in Netflix. How would that have worked out for them this right. last year? Not well. Think about that. Even FedEx, the top companies are were laying people off sure. during the holidays. FedEx, of all, but Amazon. All it, of them. So what I've does done that tell you? On my YouTube channel, you can see videos where I've talked about this. But the reality is, the world is different, and managing money takes a different approach than we used to take. Finesse. This idea that we can that you've got your four hundred one and you're still invested in things you were some outdated target date fund from 20 years ago and you think it's all going to work out okay, it's not. Right. You have to update. We have to, and we don't have to like the times we live in sometimes. Sometimes I get very frustrated with the way the world works. Me too. But it does, I can't change that. I have to change me to work in that world. Now, I won't change my principles. You see, I refuse to, I'm a willing to bend. I will not break. I will, right. not, I will not accept not opening the door for a woman. They say, well, you're not supposed to do that now. Stuff. Whatever. I'm sorry. That's just not who I am. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to hold the door. That's just what I do. I'm going to yeah, say grace. Respectful. I'm going to say grace at the meal. That's what I do. I'm going to say yes, ma'am, and yes, sir. And people say, well, you're old now. Okay, I'm still saying yes, ma'am, and yes, sir. Because, you know, my dad might come out of the grave and whoop me. If he did, my grandfather would. So there's some things we're not willing to compromise on. Right. But we do have to change this idea of how, well, Mark, I've always done it this way. But that's not getting you the results you want. And that 60-40 boomer portfolio, it doesn't work anymore. Think about this. There was a this rule. I love these rules. This 4% rule. I was going to ask you that. It's the double talk. They right. say, ride Think the roller coaster, don't get out. You'll need 4% right. for the rest of your life. Right. A, you Think don't know how this. long you're going to live. Well, you don't know what inflation is going to do. I love where you're at because you've done so many shows now. And yeah. I love it when you can fill in for Cynthia because I get a lot out of this. But watch this. In 2022, the author of the 4% rule, the inventor of the 4% rule is on record saying it no longer works. Right. In my opinion, it never worked. Imagine going down to the grocery store and saying, taking your buggies of groceries and go, okay, I'm here to spend my 4%. That doesn't work that way. It's, it's just such a mythical thing. Right. There's many times we should be spending less or more, and it's ridiculous to think we're going to let a, a rule dictate how much I can spend. Right. Well, That's even crazy. In, in 1978, when they got rid of, uh, Jimmy Carter got rid of pensions, mm -hmm. What did that do? It left so many of us needing to do a personal pension. <laughs> we were did, uneducated. What it did is it allowed companies to grow and make way more money and than the put individual. the entire burden of retirement on the backs of the workers. It took it off of the companies and onto us and put it on to the people. With That's zero exactly education. Right. With, With zero just, education. Just here you go. Yeah. It Good has luck. changed everything. But unfortunately, people are still trying to manage money the way it was managed 10 years ago, yeah. 20 years ago. This idea that you can meet with some stock picker, some stockbroker, and they know the best gidget or widget for this week, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. It doesn't work that way anymore. And so let's, with that said, we've got so much to cover today. But let's get these phone lines open. We're going to take a quick commercial break. But before we do, the phone lines are open. Here's the number to call, 888-272-0650. You're calling in because you recognize it's time to take control of your financial future and get a written retirement plan. You don't know that you need the help of Alloy Wealth or anybody else. Maybe you're a do-it-yourselfer, but you know you need a plan done by a certified financial planner put in writing to address things like inflation, taxation, asset class diversification, an, a written income plan that shows you how much money you can spend 
not run out of money, adjusted for inflation after taxation for the rest of your life and not run out. A legacy plan. How do you pass the money on to your loved ones if that's something you want to do? You know you need these questions answered. You know you don't have the answers. It's time to receive them. All you have to do is pick up the phone and dial 888-272-0650, have your appointment book ready, and be one of the lucky next 15 callers, and you will sit down and you will get a written plan done by a certified financial planner, and we're going to give it away absolutely free. Leave your checkbook at home. It's 100% complimentary, no obligation of any kind. Pick up the phone and call now. This could be the most important call of your life. Don't you want your finances to work for you? Get a second opinion. You can visit one of our beautiful three offices so far, Charlotte, Greenville, Myrtle Beach. Soon to come to Hilton Head, give us a call, 888-272-0650, and stay with us. <laughs> Meeting our son. Crazy road trips. Memories with Grandpa. Family and friends. My first job. My fourth job. Exploring our world. Our world. Our first date. Our, our special, special song. song. Secure your retirement by meeting with a financial advisor. Now's the time to make that very important phone call. All right, welcome back to Living Large Television. Our goal is to make sure your retirement is the one of your dreams so you can live large. We have been hearing on the news that we're not in a recession, that inflation's only 8 or 9%, but we know when we go to the grocery store, <laughs> it feels like 20%. They say it's not a transition. It <laughs> yeah, it's not a transition. I mean, excuse me, it's not a recession. My favorite word was when they said it's a transition. Yeah, which they've taken that away now. Kind of, oh, they did take yeah, that away because, because yeah, they it's, know ludicrous. That it's ludicrous. It's yeah. ludicrous. What is kind of your forecast? What are you preparing for personally and well, for your off, clients? Um, we don't have a crystal ball. Sure, no one does. But we are absolutely going into a recession or already in one. That's a fact. Yeah. Um, so what do you do? How do you prepare for it? Well, if you're a younger worker and you're watching our show, um, it's time to fall in love with your job. <laughs> no, <laughs> or get another job. Right. Fall in love. No, not yeah. time to change. Yeah. And let me tell you why. Oh, okay. Think about this, though. Okay. There's something called LIFO, last in, first out. Well, that's a form of accounting. Yes, I know accounting. I have to in my field. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about how it works for employers. Okay. Last in, first out. The idea of the job market is going to contract. That's how they slow inflation. The Fed is raising rates and layoffs are already happening. Yes. We talked about it in an earlier segment. Mm -hmm. Even at Christmas, Amazon launching and laying off, laying off, laying off. Goldman Sachs, financial firms, it's happening around the country and it's going to get worse. Layoffs are going to happen. Unfortunately, a lot of times the person that gets laid off first is who? The, the last the one last in. The last one in, I got you. The first one out the door. So when, you, when I say fall in love with your job, if you're a younger worker or maybe you've been at the company a long time and you were thinking about retiring in five years, well, you don't want to be retiring today. If you want to retire in five years, you don't be saying, hey, it's time. No, it's not time. I'm four more years. Right. So go figure out how to be the best employee you can so you can help get through this. Hopefully you've it's got your advice. emergency fund fully funded. Yeah. Have your credit card debt paid off. Now, we all know this stuff. We're not supposed to carry it. Credit cards are awesome. This idea that you shouldn't use credit cards, that's crazy. I remember talking with one of my clients. They had their daughter come see me because she was greatly in debt at a, at a young age. Yeah. And I, I remember talking with her. She was a wonderful, wonderful girl. But, but one of the things I had to break through, she didn't want to be there. Imagine that. You're being told to go see a financial planner <laughs> because you've got this debt. So who wants to go see that person, right? <laughs> so the meeting was not going the way I wanted as we first started out. So I had to really break through to her. So I asked her to describe her lifestyle. If she liked to travel, she said she did. I said, tell me some places you've been. She'd been to a couple of cool places and stuff. I said, that's awesome. I said, well, when you fly, um, you always fly first class, right? And she looked at me and said, well, no, of course not. I said, oh, you don't fly up front? She goes, no. I said, oh. I said, well, when I fly, that's the only way I fly. You know, <laughs> I'm always up front. She kind of looked at me, and, and, and I said, yeah. I said, do you know why? And she said, well, I, I guess because you make a lot of money or something. Yeah. I said, well, no, that's, I'm actually kind of a cheapskate. No, that's not how I fly first class. And she just looked at me, and I said, 
and I said, before we get going, I just want to thank you. And she says, thank me. I said, yeah, I want to thank you for paying for my first class tickets. <laughs> and she looked at me. Now think about what I was saying to her. Yeah, I still don't know. I said, oh, I know, you're going to. <laughs> Do you know why I'm able to fly first class? Because you pay for it. And she said, I don't pay for you to fly. I said, yes, you do. How? Because you don't pay your credit cards off every month. And they charge you exorbitant interest. And then they take someone like me. I pay them off every month and I earn points. In fact, I have massive credit card bills that come in every month because I put as much expense as I can from the company on those credit cards. I pay them off, no interest, and I build points. And I, because I'm a cheapskate, I use those <laughs> points to pay for my first class tickets. Rebecca, the only way a credit card company can do that is because they make so much money on all those people that don't pay it off every month. So I just wanted to say thank you. I said, from now on, whenever you get on a plane and you go to the back of the bus, look at those people sitting up front because most of them are like me. I love and it. And you're paying for them to sit there because you won't pay your credit cards off. Wow. She's like... And she is debt free today. I will never today. be hungry again. And she is debt free <laughs> today. Here we are a couple years later and she owes nobody anything. And it took massive changes. Right. So I say things like that because we have to really think outside of the box. Yes. So when we think about we're going into this recession, think about how your 401k is being managed. When's the last time you rebalanced your 401k? When's the last time you sat down with a financial planner? Maybe you have been working with that big box firm. Have they ever talked to you about your 401k? Have they offered to complimentary at no charge help you build a better 401k? Think about it. Most companies offer several things you can invest in. You know, it used to be you only had the company stock to put in. That didn't right. work out real good for Enron. Yeah. So, so now <laughs> they allow you to have a plethora of things you can invest in. But do most people know what they should be picking? So you're younger, you might want to be more aggressive with that. You're five years out from retirement, you want to be less aggressive. But do you know how to balance that correctly? And have they sat down and helped you do that? Right. Or are you just using some outdated target fund that you had 20 years ago or 10 years ago? Think about this. Have you rebalanced your portfolios? It's 2023. And I'm not telling you to get out of the market while it's down. That's not what I'm saying at all. Right. But is there better opportunities? Because we are going to come out of this market we've been in, and it's going to go up. And as it goes up, we don't want to get back to where we were. And people say, oh, no, I do want to get back to where I was. No, you don't. That's treading water. You want to get I higher. I want to get higher. we got to maximize this market that we're going into real soon. And we want to get more than we lost so we can end up in a better place than we were before all this fiasco started. Albert Einstein said that um, compounding interest should actually be considered the eighth wonder of the world. No let's question talk, about it. Let's talk about it because you touched on it. Why would you get out when it's low? People say, oh, because I'm scared. I'm going to get out. Well, let's talk about the danger of that, we're, we're the compounding to, loss. We're going to have to go to commercial break, but it's so funny because I, I'm on TV a lot doing things about financial stuff. But I remember when Bitcoin was taken off and hit its mark of 60 plus thousand and stuff. And I've been yeah. in cryptocurrencies forever. And people say, why are you in cryptocurrencies and stuff? Well, one, because I don't, I want to be relevant and it's going to become part of our lives at some point and whether yeah. I like it or not. So yeah. I want to understand it. So I mine for it. I do all that cool stuff. So I really want to understand it. Well, when it was on its meteoric rise, I was getting calls all the time to come in and do episodes on television, talk about it. Yeah. And clients were even calling me and saying, hey, should I be buying some of this? Should I be buying some of this stuff? Well, then what happened to the crypto market? It exploded and it went the other way. And it kept going down and down and down. And then the FTX collapse and all that other debacle and just don't even get me started, right? But guess what wasn't coming in? The phone calls about, hey, Mark, this, this, this crypto thing, it's really down right now. Should I be buying? Well, that's totally opposite of how it should work. Okay. People were calling to buy in when they were hearing all the good news about how high markets were getting. Right. So you're paying a higher price instead of waiting for the right. sale price. Now, then, then the markets went down and people are like, I want to run. I want to get out. This is terrible. This is terrible. So they're buying high. Selling low. I think that's a recipe for disaster. disaster. Right? Hey, we got to open these phone lines. They tell me we're behind. <laughs> and I'm sorry we have to go to commercial break. But here's the number. 888 
It's on the screen, write it down, or better yet, just pick up the phone. Here's what you're calling in for. It's not a toll-free helpline. I have no idea if we could even be of service to you. <laughs> but I know this, you need a second opinion. You need a written retirement plan, a financial plan, done by a certified financial planner. If you've saved at least 250000 or more for retirement, that's a darn good start. Now's the time to get it. We'll do it 100% complimentary. That means free, F-R-E-E, -E. absolutely free. You will not pay for it. Leave your checkbook at home. Come in and get that second opinion. Learn about an income plan, advanced tax planning. Learn about rebalancing. Get it all in writing. Get the entire thing and don't pay for it by simply picking up the phone right now and calling 888-272-0650. Rebecca? And do us a favor, have your calendar ready. We'd like to get you an appointment in the next few weeks so you can come in and start your retirement plan. If you do not have a plan, it is the perfect time to start in the new year. Stay with us more on how you can live large in retirement right after this. Mark Henry, CEO of Alloy Wealth, and of course, your host of Living Large Television and Radio. Take this opportunity to call now and get your complimentary written financial plan. Welcome back to Living Large Television. We were talking about the opposite thing of what you should do. People are buying high, selling low. I think it's human nature it to is. panic, but that's why you have very many, it's a puzzle. And you have all of these different pieces. Let's talk well, about some of the tools Rebecca, and pieces. Uh, and I think you know the story, but it's really why Alloy Wealth exists. So, yeah. you know, there's a lot to be said for a name. When we talk about like a variable annuity, we did on a show recently, the name variable tells you everything you need to know. Yeah. Why Alloy? Well, see, Alloy is a metal. I, I was an engineer by trade. That's what I went to school for, mechanical engineer. And so an alloy is a metal. And, and what it is is taking several metals, combining them together, to make them stronger than they were on their own. That's ah, an alloy. Ah, that's how you chose the name? It is how I chose the name. And if you look at the logo, that's actually a periodic table. Yes. The logo of Alloy Wealth. And that was the idea of using several things to combine them together to make them stronger than they were without them on I their own. I love it. Yeah, there's just the little devils in the details. And I am that yeah. detail guy, I can't help it. But, you know, when I think about how it's supposed to be. I think about my father and this video is out there and it, it talks about my dad and, I, and obviously I just, I was, I was very blessed to have a great, great family. Um, middle class parents, um, we weren't wealthy, but we certainly, I don't remember lacking for something. I didn't miss meals. Right. Um, I do remember I was very upset that day when I went to a friend's house, very young, and uh, they said they were having steak for dinner and asked me if I wanted to come and I said, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I said, steak, I love steak. So I went in there, and I can't tell you how old I was, maybe nine or 10 years old, but I remember this very clearly because they served the steak, and I was sitting there at the table, and uh, they put this steak down on my plate, and I looked at it like I didn't know what it was because I really didn't. And they said, is everything okay? I said, yeah, I just um, never had quite had a steak like this. And so I cut it and ate it, and it was just absolutely delicious. Yeah. Um, what I found out is when we had steak at my house, um, it was fried bologna. Um, <laughs> And that was called steak. <laughs> and so uh, when I actually got my first reel, what I realized I had been being lied to. You're like, I want some steak <laughs> in my <laughs> life. <laughs> fried bologna is not a look. If you've never had fried bologna, it's actually really good. It is pretty good. It is pretty darn good. So I grew up on fried bologna, but we didn't want for a lot. But I remember my dad, and Alloy Wealth exists today. A lot of that has to do with my dad because he retired in what was the retirement of his dreams. And I'm not sure it was the retirement of my mom's dreams. It was the retirement of his dreams. Yeah. They left Atlanta, Georgia, and they bought a small condo down in a town called Jupiter, Florida, on a golf course. Nice. And my dad had this little two-bedroom condo, had the sliding glass door. I can visualize it. He could slide that door open, walk right outside, and there was a putting green right there. One of the greens of one of the holes was That's right awesome. there behind his house. And uh, it was unbelievable. Did he have a pension? And uh, he didn't. Nope, he didn't. But, uh, but he had saved hard, and, and he was great. And it was the retirement of his dreams. Um, until that Monday came around called Black Monday. Mm. And he lost over 50% of his assets that he had saved in one day. Wow. And then he did what we talked about earlier, which was what? Panic. Panic. Sell. And he sold it. And, uh, and then 
very early on after that, it became clear that he wasn't going to be able to stay in the retirement of his dreams. Yeah, it's terrible. And a few years later, that condo was sold. They moved back to Atlanta, Georgia. And my dad died young, um, but my mom went on to live to 94 years old. But it wasn't wow. the retirement they had dreamed of because yeah. she had to count on my brother and I. And thank heavens I was very successful. Yeah. My brother was, and we could help my mom. But that's not what she wanted. That's it not what your what dad she planned. At all. It wasn't the way the but they didn't have a plan. Right. And, you know, people have yeah. asked me before, like, well, do you blame the person that was doing it? They should have never done it. No, it wasn't the investment advisor. These are good young men and women. I have no idea who my dad was working with. I wasn't in the business at that time. But he didn't have a plan. And he should have never been in, in a position to lose 50% at one time. Because most everything but was nobody, in the stock market. Well, nobody had ever stress tested. Here's the thing. It's not gotcha. that the stock market's bad. But you, you, the stress you have test. no crystal ball of what's going to happen tomorrow. But we can use history and we can take your holdings off of that page and run them backwards in time and say, well, this is what would have, if you would have had this exact portfolio 20 years ago, yeah. here's what would have happened over the last 20 years. And that doesn't mean that's what's going to happen over the next 20, but it's the best indication of what's going to happen. Yeah. So if this happened, how would you feel? My dad would have looked at that and said, well, if that ever happened, I couldn't handle that. It doesn't mean it was a bad portfolio. It means it was a bad portfolio for Ross Henry. That was my dad's name, Ross. It wasn't a good portfolio for him. Right. Not a bad portfolio, not a bad portfolio for somebody, just not him. That's a problem I have with the cookie cutters and it's the big box the problem, retailers. Because they that just stick is... it all in there and we'll be fine. No, right. it's You're not, not A, B, C, D, or E. You You're are not. your person. And you need a plan designed around being your person. I can't believe this, sh this show is in I know, we, we did it again. The networks have got to give us more time. Listen, <laughs> we're going to put the number up on the screen one more time. But just do this for me. I, I can't, I don't want to plead with you. It's not an infomercial, but it's time to take charge of your financial future. Don't be like my father and wait until it's too late and then have to be forced to make bad decisions. Get a written retirement plan. Get one done by a certified financial planner and leave your darn checkbook at home. Don't sign anything. Don't agree to do anything. Just get the plan you deserve, and then you can make real decisions so that you don't have to end up like so many people do. 888-272-0650. If you've saved 250000 or more and you're one of the lucky next 15 callers, whether you're in the Greenville area, that's my financial planning team, has 15 slots available. Pick up the phone and call. Greenville, South Carolina, North Myrtle Beach, Myrtle Beach, Charlotte, Pick up the phone and call 888-272-0650. We'll do it absolutely complimentary with no obligations. Hey, I hope you found the information today useful and helpful because that's how it's intended each and every week. Please follow me on YouTube at Living Large Retirement. Just Google Mark Henry Living Large Retirement. You can hit that subscribe button. You'll get great videos. And watch for us again next week on Living Large Retirement. Absolutely. We'll see you then. Thanks so much for joining us.